Hello, my name is William Schmidt, and the camera person is Anna Chan. <laughs> and today we're going to show you how to make cross sections of algae. That's very important. Yes, very important for identification. Yes, for everything to yes. get to know the CV. Exactly. Okay, Bill, show us what we have to do. Okay, well, you need your tools for the job. Okay. So the first part you need here is a razor blade. Okay, that's easy to find. Yep, really easy. Brand new, sharp, good edge, great right. for cutting. Okay. Next one, dissection needles. Uh-huh. Forceps. That's easy to find. These are good for manipulating the specimen. Right. And a pipette. What is that for? That's for transferring water. Uh, okay. The and such. Right. What else we need? Then we need some paper towels. Oh, that's easy. Yes, for absorption. Good for petri dishes, just for holding the samples. Uh-huh. And then let's start at the beginning. Yes. Cover slips. That's Slides. not. Slides. Okay. Water. Water. Hydrochloric acid. <laughs> what is that for? The hydrochloric acid is when you have specimens that are calcified. Calcified yes. algae. Yeah. Wow. So, mm -hmm. so when they're calcified, you want to break down that hard outer shell. Okay. So the acid breaks it down. Uh huh. The carbon dioxide is acid. Okay. This thing is aniline blue. Aniline blue. Aniline is blue is a stain, and it's for increasing contrast underneath the microscope. Okay, what else? The next thing is caro syrup, 50 percent. Uh huh. Is that water or 50 percent caro syrup? Okay. It's just corn syrup. That's all it is. That's easy to find too. Exactly. You can go to any supermarket. Uh huh. Another one, nail polish. Nail polish. Yeah. Seriously. Exactly. Seriously. If you're clear if you're embarrassed. They'll never know. Okay, what else? And a cover slip and a slide box. Slide box? A slide box. Okay. For long term storage. Okay, long term storage. Sounds good. That's what you need.